Today I'm going to show you guys how to implement projectile motion within Allegro using C++. Now I'm going to be using sine and cosine, so you have to include math. I'm also going to be using the double buffering technique, so that's why I have a bitmap named buffer. All right. I have uh, two floats here, X and Y which will hold the position of the object. I have a float velocity, which will hold the velocity of the object. And I have a float called theta, which I've initialized to pi over 6, which is 30 degrees. Actually, it's negative pi over 6. The reason I have the negative is because of the way the um, numbers on the screen are, are you know the zero point is at the upper left corner and as you go down it the number increases so if you just put negative if you put 30 degrees the ball will just fly straight down that's why you have to put negative 30 degrees so that you get the 30 degree angle you think of normally I also have velocity x and velocity y. These are the two components of the velocity. Now if, if you have a resultant, which is in this case the velocity, to find the components you need to take cosine or sine of theta depending on which angle you're using. If you're using the standard angle, which is which starts from the positive x-axis and goes counterclockwise, you would use cosine theta for the x component and sine theta for the y component. Now I have acceleration, which is the, in this case, which will be the acceleration due to the force of gravity which I've initialized to 9.8 and then I have change in time which I've initialized to 0.1 now this is the main and all of these are things you would put in pretty much any Allegro program here I create my buffer then I go into the while loop now in projectile motion the x component of the velocity meaning the velocity in the x direction is constant so I am not going to change it I'm just gonna leave it to whatever value is up here but the y component changes so the velocity in the y direction changes so I have to keep updating it and if you know the kinematic um, formulas there they are right here well that's two of them right here. It says that velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times the change in time. This is what I have here. Velocity final equals velocity initial plus acceleration times the change in time. I also have to update the positions, both the x and y position. And according to the schematic formula for that, you have position final equals position initial plus initial velocity times the change in time plus one half acceleration times change in time squared and 
for the x position, I don't have the 1 half times acceleration times change in time squared because the acceleration in the x direction is 0. So that whole portion gets cut off. So I'm just, I just have x initial plus velocity initial times change in time. And the y direction I have the whole formula right here. Then I have a rest so you can actually see what's going on. Then I create the object which has a position x and y and a radius of 4 and a color. And then after that I draw the sprite to the buffer. And that's essentially the whole program. So here is how it looks if I run it. So um, if you clear the buffer by entering clear bitmap parentheses buffer you will end up with this that's it